welcome all of you for the today's lecture in physics just we are going to discuss the problem which was already asked during jwe mains 2016 and it is problem number 23 in which they has given us the information in terms of such a type of waves which are represented the input and output and they has asked us which type of gate is this we know very well that there are different types of logic gate and gate or gate not gate nand gate among all these gates we have to decide which type of this gate is which consists of this input and output just let's begin with the discussion of that question what i am representing here input is represented by the uh, term as a b c d and output is by x this i am trying to discuss all these parts which is given to us this is called as input output waveforms and this waveforms is nothing but the square wave which consists of only two values 0 means low value and high means one value it is called as binary value 0 and 1 what does it mean it means that the input d consists of 0 and 1 means high sorry low and high 0 1 0 1 what about the next one c this is 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 and correspondingly it is 0 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 and so on if i am asking about that a it is 0 0 0 0 and sometimes then it is 1 1 but for the output x output x is 0 1 1 1 1 and so on and with the help of all these values in 0 and 1 we can decide which type of this gate is this gate consists of four input and only one output just try to represent this input and output in terms of the truth table by giving the binary value 0 and 1 as we can see here if it is a is equal to 0 b is also 0 c is also 0 d is also 0 and x is also 0 means what a equal to 0 b equal to 0 c equal to 0 and d equal to x is also equal to 0 what next now a is still 0 b is 0 c is 0 but now d is 1 d becomes 1 What's about the x? x become 1 now. Therefore, a is 0, b is 0, c is 0, d is 1, x is 1, what we discuss now. Next, a is still 0 at lower level, b is still 0 because it is at the lower level, c is now 1, c is 1 because it is at the high level, d is now 0, a 0, b 0, c 1, d 0 a 0 b 0 c 1 b 0 what's about the output output is now 1 output equal to 1 going in this fashion let's check other input a is still 0 b is still 0 it is 1 now 0 0 c is 1 now d is 1 d is also 1 what's about the output output is now 1 because it is at high level x is 1 let's check the next one a is now 0 corresponding rate b is 1 a is 0 b is 1 now c is 0 and d is 0 at the lower level at the lower level c is 0 d also 0 and output x is at the upper level means 1 similarly it is a 0 sorry a 0 b1 c0 d1 a0 b1 c0 d1 and output is still 1 checking in this fashion now it is 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 output is still 1 next one a is still 0 it is not up but b is up therefore a 0 b 1 c is also up 1 0 1 1 it is also 1 0 1 1 1 output is 1 what next now now a becomes 1 a becomes 1 b is 0 c is 0 lower level b also 0 it is 1 0 0 0 and output is still 1 output is 1 
checking in this question if you are check the next step also you will came to know that the output x is 0 means at low level output x is low level here only if all the input a b c d is equal to 0 and then after output x becomes 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 means at high level when at least one input is at high level means one at least one means d is one here c is one here here c and d both are one at least i am asking about at least one must be at the high level what's for the next one in this question if you are trying to searching the values of a b c d among them at least one is appear in a b c d somewhere one times means if the input is at higher level at least one time the output is always at higher level means one this is possible only in case of or gate so this is the truth table for or gate and this truth table is replica of this input waveform and output waveform that's why the given input output waveform shows that the input and output of or gate and that or gate is represented by the symbol just like this these are the input here and this is the output in this fashion you can decide the input output we have come corresponding to or gate with the help of this truth table i hope you will understand thank you very much